Tonight, a mother speaking out in outrage after her young daughters makes a serious accusation against the South Florida rabbi. That rabbi accused of molesting that young girl, and we're getting a confirmation now the rabbi did slip cash to the girl's mother before he was arrested. NBC6 reporter Steve Litz live in Miami Beach with the latest on this. Steve. Hi, Adam. Jeffrey Herman is a lawyer here in South Florida. He represents sex assault victims, and he is known for holding news conferences at locations where alleged attacks have happened. And so today we talked with Jeff Herman outside a rabbi's art gallery here on Miami Beach. The alleged victim's mother also spoke. And to those people who are suggesting that she's making this story up or lying, she offers this. I think they're garbage, they're disgusting, they have no idea what we're going through. The mother of a girl who claims she was molested by a rabbi. Tonight, talking about being shunned by her Orthodox Jewish community, she says because she reported the alleged crime. And as soon as I walked in with my daughter and a friend, they started moaning, they started speaking. You have a lot of nerve to be here. I should pull you out by your hair out of the synagogue while you're here. And the grainy surveillance video showing the rabbi handing her an envelope contained money. That, according to her lawyer, Jeffrey Herman, who refuses to call it hush money. I can't comment. I can't characterize it. We'll leave that for the authorities. As a lawyer, what do you think it was for? <laughs> As, as uh, I'm a civil lawyer, I'm going to leave that for the authorities. I'm not, I can't comment or characterize it. This story is swirling around Steve Caro, a rabbi at this Orthodox congregation on Miami Beach's Arthur Godfrey Road. He's accused of intentionally touching the girl on her buttocks, over her clothing, sat her on his lap, and kissed her neck. He never kissed her on the neck. Caro's wife defends her husband, saying he stroked the girl's back for cleansing spiritual purposes. Danielle Iannatone, who owns the business next to Caro's gallery, also questions the allegations. He's been nothing but a gentleman and a, and a person who's um, stood for what I think the Jewish community has stood for in this area. Rabbi Caro is out of jail on $32,000 bond tonight. He is on house arrest and he faces two charges related to child molestation. He will either strike a plea deal with prosecutors or go on trial. Reporting live on Miami Beach tonight, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News. Steve